A United Launch Alliance Delta IV rocket is blasted into orbit, carrying a new United States Air Force telecommunications satellite. The Wide Band Global SATCOM, or WGS-10, is the latest member of a constellation designed to serve the armed forces of the United States, as well as its allies, including Australia, which is shared in the cost of the WGS project. The mission blasted off from Space Launch Complex 37B at the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. WGS-10 was carried into orbit aboard a Delta IV in its medium plus 4-5 configuration. Let's go. Rock, report range status. Range green. Stage LH2 secure at flight level. Status check. Go Delta. Go WGS-10. SRM PVC blowdown. Profi ignition. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we have liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV rocket carrying the WGS-10 mission for the United States Air Force. Passing 10 seconds into flight. Our chamber pressure works good. Okay, good chamber pressure works on the RSRM. Nice special for 20 seconds into flight. Continue to see good performance on the RS-68A engine. Now coming up on 30 seconds. Mach 1 Delta IV is now supersonic. SRM chamber pressure has tailed off from the max pressure as expected. Continue to see good engine performance on the RS-68 engine. Delta is now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. Now 55 seconds into flight. Continue to see good performance on the RS-68 engine. Good performance on all four SRMs. Nice symmetric burn. Now one minute, five seconds into flight. About 30 seconds remaining until SRM burnout. Continue to see good performance on the main engine and standing by for SRM burnout shortly. And we have burnout on all four SRMs standing by for jettison. And we have good indication of jettison of all four solid rocket motors. Main engine continuing to perform well. Chamber pressure looks good. Now passing one minute, 50 seconds into flight. Vehicle's gone to closed loop guidance. The Delta IV rocket now weighs just one half of its liftoff weight, burning propellant at a rate of almost 2,000 pounds per second. The second stage ACS system press valve has been opened. System pressure response looks good. And seeing good body rates on the Delta IV as it transitioned to closed loop guidance. Main engine continuing to perform well. Engine parameters look good. Launch vehicle is now 46 miles in altitude, 73 miles downrange distance traveling at 5,400 miles per hour. Continue to see good performance on the main engine, passing two minutes, 35 seconds into flight. And body rates have uh, nulled out now. And the upper stage block system has begun the boost phase chill down sequence to begin thermal conditioning of the RL-10 engine. Now two minutes remaining in the boost phase of flight. And upper stage fuel system has begun boost phase chill down. Standing by for payload fairing jettison. And we have good indication of payload fairing jettison. In a stage separation. Nozzle extension is deploying. We have pre-start on the RL-10, standing by for ignition. And we have ignition on the RL-10. Chamber pressure looks good. Body rates look good. This is the first burn of today's mission. This first burn will last approximately 15 minutes, 15 seconds. Now passing 4 minutes, 30 seconds into flight. RL-10 chamber pressure continues to look good. The 6,000-kilogram WGS-10 high-throughput satellite is based around Boeing's BSS-702 bus. It carries KA band and KU band transponders, providing some 8.088 gigahertz of bandwidth with downlink speeds of 11 gigabits per second. The US Air Force is now looking at commissioning Boeing to build another two satellites in the series, WGS-11 and WGS-12.